Hi guys, this is Lena at GradeLink again. Thanks for joining me for the financial webinar video series. This is video 13 in our series. In the last video, we talked about how you can close the billing period in order to automatically trigger any pay plan charges into the ledger for a student. What I want to cover now is how to manually add in any charges for the student that are not covered by a pay plan. So we still have Picasso highlighted here on the left. And let's say that I just want to input a charge for Picasso now. Uh, what I am going to do is make sure that I am in an open billing period to add the transaction. So March is now closed. I'm going to come into the Billing tab, and I'm going to click on April and set the period status to Open and click Save. Technically, I could add transactions into a billing period, even if it's pending, but it, it's best to just open the billing period if it's if it's currently April, so that you can um, stay on top of your billing cycle. So now that I have April open, um, I can put in charges into the ledger for the period spanning from March 22nd to April 25th. So I'm in the ledger again. And to add in my transaction, I would click in the date box first. And I'm currently in April, so I'm going to choose a date in April. Let's say, for example, that on the 16th, I want to add in a transaction for let's do maybe an early registration fee. And the amount, let's say, is $50. Now, this is a charge. I know it's a charge because when I set up the registration fee on the fee types page, I indicated that it was a charge. So GradeLink already knows that we're, in this case, charging $50. So I'm just going to put 50. I don't need to indicate that it's a charge. Simply choosing registration fee is enough information. Then I click the Save button. And I see the transaction here. And it's April 16th, registration fee, $50. It was a charge. And this is a new balance column. And so what it does is combines the new charge with the previous balance. So the student owed 200 for uh, tuition. There's no payment in here, so it looks like the 200 is still owed. And then I charged an additional $50 here. So I see that the new balance is now 250 That's how you manually add a charge into the ledger. I'll do another one as an example. I'm going to click the Add button to add in a new charge. And let's say that this, uh, this charge is on the 21st. going to be for 2014-2015. And let's say that this time I need to charge for daycare. And the amount is uh, $420, for example. I'm going to leave the payment method, reference number, and memo boxes blank because they're not applicable in this case since this is a charge. And I'm going to click Save. And so here, same thing, we see the date, the transaction type, the amount of the transaction, and then the new balance total. So now he owes 670 in this account. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to cover how to add in a payment in the student ledger.